to have you back. Thank we missed you, you a couple yes. days last week. I missed you guys too. We misbehaved so badly while you were I know. Okay. <laughs> I saw pictures. <laughs> okay. Well, well, good to have you back. And of course, we have a big week already. We have a lot of major headlines, major developments. Of course, we'll start with the pandemic. We want to look at the latest coronavirus case numbers. These coming to us from Johns Hopkins University. There are now more than 7.7 .7 million diagnosed cases of COVID across the country. More than 214 thousand American lives lost now still some three million folks here in this country recover. Yeah, and Jen, you know, so much controversy over the weekend about the president's return to work, and obviously you can't comment specifically on his case, but we can talk about what it's like to return to public life after COVID. What does that look like? Well, here's what I really want to talk about is for the average person who may be recovering from COVID, how do they take what's going on now and use it for them? So let's go through the CDC recommendations. So 10 days from the onset of symptoms or after two negative tests taken 24 hours apart. That is when you are considered clear, ready to go back into public. If you have been diagnosed with severe COVID-19, which by the way, clinically means you've required ICU care, then it might be up to 20 days after the onset of symptoms. Now, in terms of testing, the PCR testing, which is considered the gold standard, can still yield positive results, mm -hmm. you guys. We've talked about this. Four months after someone has diagnosed positive, that doesn't mean you're still contagious. It's just picking up debris of the virus. And there are plenty of questions everybody's wondering. There's not enough information coming out about the president's health and even some misinformation, but we're hearing a lot about the president's viral load. We've been learning so many new phrases, all of us yep. now, but viral load, what are we talking about? Well, so in other viruses, you guys, and I talked to Dr. Anthony Fauci about this a while ago, you can do a blood test and detect how much virus is in that person. You can't do a blood test for COVID-19, but there's something called a cycle threshold or CT value. That's kind of a surrogate for viral load above a certain level, if you get a high CT value, you are considered very unlikely to spread that virus to others. So that's probably what people are looking at when they say we've done testing and we've determined this person is not contagious anymore. But that's not yet ready for prime time in terms of being used for people like us. There you go. Doc, thank you. We'll you see bet. you plenty. <laughs> of course, throughout the hour, I want to turn now to ABC's Kira Phillips in D.C. for the latest headlines. Kira, good afternoon. Happy Monday. Great to see you, TJ. We begin here with these developments just 22 days till Election Day. Those confirmation hearings getting underway right now in Washington for Supreme Court Justice nominee Amy Coney Barrett, the 48-year-old judge and mother of seven, going before the Senate Judiciary Committee, expected to focus on family and judicial philosophy. And despite lingering questions around his health, President Trump back on the campaign trail declaring himself cured. He's expected to travel to Florida this evening and deliver remarks at a rally tonight. As controversy continues around his illness, there is also controversy brewing over the campaign's use of a line from Dr. Anthony Fauci in a Trump ad. The infectious disease expert says that he was taken out of context and has never endorsed a candidate in close to five decades of public service. The campaign telling ABC News they will not pull that ad down. And growing worries about surging coronavirus numbers, especially in the northern Midwest. Wisconsin's governor saying it would be catastrophic for a judge to strike down his mask mandate. The state forced to expand treatment to a field hospital to handle cases the governor calls, frankly right now, out of control. The Gulf Coast cleaning up after Hurricane Delta slamming just miles from Laura back in late August. Several hundred thousand customers still without power across Louisiana, Texas and Mississippi. And the emotional celebration on the King's Court. Four-time NBA champ LeBron James bringing the trophy back to the L.A. dynasty for the first time in a decade. Paying tribute to late star Kobe Bryant and thanking his number one fan, his mama. I love it. Amy, the Lakers uh, beating the Heat 106 to 93, taking that series four games to two. It's their 17th championship, now tying the Celtics 
for the most in the NBA. I love that it comes back to mama. Yeah, and I, I heard all about it from TJ. It was almost as if I watched the game. It, it really, it was almost as if I cared. Oh, no, I, I'm sure oh, you had every detail. To them. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kira. I got it. Oh, you bet. From you TJ. don't need me. You just have to, you have TJ. <laughs> exactly. All right. I get the play by play. There is much more coming up here on GMA3. We are just 22 days from Election Day now and keeping the vote fair and on track and counting every single ballot. So important. We're going to talk to Colorado's Secretary of State about that. Also, the mall making a big pandemic pivot and now podcasting from home with a Made in America theme, highlighting the crafty entrepreneur in her home state. Stay with us on GMA3. ABC's GMA3, What You Need to Know, brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Save when you bundle auto, home, or motorcycle insurance. Philadelphia cream cheese, made with fresh milk and real cream, makes your recipes their holiday favorites. The holidays are made with Philly. Ashley Home Store's lowest prices of the season are here. Shop dining room tables starting at just $2.79 and living room essentials as low as $4.49. Or get 0% interest for 72 months. Only at America's number one furniture and mattress store. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Tom's versus Mozzarella Stick. When heartburn hits, fight back fast with Tums Chewy Bites. Beat heartburn fast. Tums Chewy Bites. isn't done until it's done with Downey. GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.